for it. And at this point in my career, at this point in my life, my life as an artist, it's one thing to have a great idea. It's another thing to have a great idea at the right time. And it's like those are unique moments when you have a great idea that happens at the perfect time. Have fun, y'all. City breathing all down your neck. Bad news and good dope special effects. And reality's teeth. Bright, black, sinking in deep. This album, it'll be around, but it's like, there's not a lot of encouragement or incentive for artists to really spend the time that it takes to, to make a, a record, like a, like, a, like a real album. And the people's attention spans are shorter. The jazz is really responsible, I think, for refining the, for putting the expectations on what an album was supposed to be. You rehearse your songs one day, mm -hmm. record them the next day, and that's an album. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know. Believe me when I tell ya, I didn't mean to break your heart. Make up, pick up the pieces. For dreams to fall apart, forgive me and forget me. Just make a brand new start, don't grieve your right, just say goodbye. Because I know, you know that I know, you know my love is danger, criminal mind. Just the case of my love, charms in your arms, your guns are so on. Go on, bang, bang, shoot them up. Sips in your clip, clip, clap, shoot them for the back. Just from the verse. Bang. You're just a gangster of love Charms in your arms, your guns are so warm Bang, bang, shoot them up Tips in your click, click, clack, use them up Bad intentions and an excellent shot excellent. He's a real artist too, he's one of the few guys that are people I work with that's really an artist I mean, yeah. completely operates from that mindset He never makes a record thinking about how many copies he's going to sell yeah, He right. makes it based on, you know so, you know, being an artist. Let me hear what I'm recording so far on that, on that part. Gangs for a love, charms in your arms, your guns are so warm. Warm, bang, bang, shoot them up. Sips in your clip, click, clack, use them up. What's that one for? Believe. I don't know yet. Believe. Uh, I don't know. Flashing lights, it's stolen. When I said, yeah. Pistola. Pistola? Yeah. Bang, bang, shoot him up. Like, no, the first right. three songs, I worked on them in that order. So I said Super Magic, then I worked on Spotlight, then Auditorium. I want to start this album in a, in a, at least with the first three songs in the order that I worked on them. I was like, I was, I was ready to go. I was like, let's go. I just had, you know, I was like, let's, let's do it. And then I started, I started coming into the studio, and she just started. Yeah, it just started, yeah, it just started, it just started coming. Sometimes it's too hard to sit still. Things are so passionate, times are so real. Sometimes I try to chill, mellow down, blow a smoke. A smile on my face, but it's really no joke. You feel it in the street, the people breathe without hope. They're going through the motion, they're dimming down the focus. The focus get cleared, and the light turns sharp, and the eyes grow teary, the mind grow weary. I speak it so clearly, sometimes y'all don't hear me. I push it past the Okay, it's either embassy or... Workers comp, embassy, and then workers comp after embassy. Uh, all of these are pretty good songs. I like no, them. Not too bad. Not too bad. <laughs> like the future of hip hop to me, that I see in the future is the instrumental album. Once people really get to experience hip hop, this is a sonic phenomenon away from the personality of a vocalist. It's just, it's just like, whoa, you know? A lot of his music was on instrumental albums. Yeah. You know, Ono and Auditorium was an instrumental album, My Heed. Life of All This Times from Mr. Flash in, in Europe and Paris. My man Jason just gave me a CD. He was like, it's just kid, Mr. Flash. It's so, you know, from Paris. Yeah, yeah. I'm in Paris, he gives me the beat CD. I'm like, this shit is incredible. That beat CD that he gave me was so good. I was like, I could, that's an album. Yeah. 
I was like, we could do an album. Yeah. But Mr. Flash is dope. Yeah. Yeah. He's got like three joints on him. He did Life of Marvelous Times. He did Embassy and Workers Comp. And they're like my, they're like my favorite songs right now. Yeah. This is Best Star 82. Ninth floor, three tiny rooms, one view. Buck down, Roosevelt House. The green grass is green, our green grass is brown. Shots rang, my phone wasn't touched on. Heavy beef in the street, E.T. had to flee. Great heaven. Another thing that was really encouraging is like I had time to be on the road, like doing the new songs. And hearing people respond to them, and like certain songs we did every every time we, I uh, for like a month, two months, I started out the the sets with the first three new songs. Everybody was like, "Wow!" And I was like, "We just gonna go out here and just hit them in the head early, pop, pop, pop." And they was like, "Whoa, what shit? What is that? This shit is dope." And then for sure enough, people, I start you know. Checking out the, the the YouTubes and people start commenting about oh shit he did this and I just said I was feeling good I was I, I was really feeling good about doing the song I was like yeah I feel good but I, I like performing these songs live the energy of them especially songs like Super Magic. This is just great. I'm proud of the things that I've done. I feel a sense of, of, of fulfillment. Like the better it gets, the better it has to be. You start resting on your laurels, and then you, you know you just become like a like a parody of yourself without even realizing. And it's not like I want to keep society type of pressure on myself. If you have it in your capability to do, some people, well, you know, give it a go. <laughs> <laughs>